It is a big night for high school football, though. The reigning 6A state championships, the Jinx Trojans, are facing the Broken Arrow Tigers. News on 6 reporter Katira Winfrey is at tonight's big game. And Katira, how's the scoreboard looking? Hey guys, I don't know if you just heard all that cheering, but the crowd has been electric. And I just walked over about five minutes ago to check the score before coming on live to talk to you guys. And the score was 14 to 23 with Jinx leading. Now, this is a game that people have been waiting for. Jinx has won the championship for the past three years, and Broken Arrow has never won it. But right now, the coaches say they are happy to be here, but they definitely want to walk away with the win. <laughs> Excitement is what you'll feel on both sides of the field. Jinx fans are looking for their fourth straight championship victory. And Broken Arrow fans are looking for their first. It's very exciting, man. Uh, we've got a great group of senior men here. Um, they've, they've bought into everything we want to do. They've worked extremely hard. They love each other. Um, they play for each other. Broken Arrow coach David Alexander says being the fourth BA team in the school's 100 plus year history to ever make it to the championship is a big deal, but it's not quite time to celebrate. We're going to have to be very, very good tonight if we're going to win. Uh, there would be no underestimating what Jinx has done. Respect is felt all around. Even as reigning champions, Jinx coach Alan Trimble won't count out the Tiger squad. There's a lot of respect. Anytime you, you have the blessing and opportunity to play in the last game of the year, both teams are playing well. In this matchup between Jinx, a team that's been here before, and Broken Arrow, a team longing to be the first time champs, Trimble says now is not the time to change up the game plan. We do have a very veteran team that have, that have been in a number of big games, but you know I don't think it changes really anything. You got to go out and be able to perform uh, in this one shiny moment. Whichever team ends up on top, it'll be a hard fought win. And if Jinx wins tonight, this will be the 15th championship victory in the school's history. And as I mentioned before, Broken Arrow has never won a championship, so this would be their first. And as a matter of fact, I found out BA is the only school to beat Jinx this year. Reporting live in Tulsa, Katira Winfrey, News on 6.